All right, good morning, everyone. This is Ernest Stanbury with Cephas Consulting, and we are doing the demo of the uh, Lightning Tree Visual Model Dish and Merge. Our presenter is Bob Rushka, and Bob has over 15 years of experience in software engineering, and then he played different roles uh, in software engineering in different industries and built many, many, many systems. He also has uh, experience running a small company and working with remote and multicultural teams. And Bob had first-hand experience with the Capability Maturity Model, CMMI, uh, appraisal journey, and with development of the new product introduction, NPI process. So with that, I'm going to switch over to Bob, and I'll be sit here quietly. So we're going to go for about uh, 30 minutes, and then after that, we'll take questions, and then we'll complete. Okay, everybody. So thank you, Ernest, for such a nice introduction. And I will just add one more thing to that, uh, which is uh, the webinar is going to be recorded. So uh, it means that uh, I'm not sure if we are going to make it available or not. <laughs> we, will, we will discuss it, but, but uh, don't be shy and, and ask questions regardless. So, hi, I'm Bob Hrushka from Liba Liba, and uh, in this webinar, I'm going to talk about our brand new enterprise architect model versioning software, making parallel model editing and merging seamless, confident, and frustration-free. It's called uh, Lemon Tree. Lemon, lemon what? People have been asking me, why, why Lemon Tree? Well, isn't a lemon tree the perfect symbol of that relaxed tropical lifestyle we all dream of? And uh, the tree. The tree branches represent the various model versions calling for a merge. In this webinar, I will show you the integration with Tortoise SVM. Lemon tree is seamlessly integrated into Tortoise SVM like an external diff merge program, meaning that all actions related to diff, merge, or conflict resolution will be handled by Lemon tree outside of Enterprise Architect. This is a very, very important thing. Lemon tree can be also integrated into other popular version control systems such as a Git, PTC, formerly MKS. Moreover, besides the native EAP files, Lemon tree can also handle server-based repositories stored in commonly known databases. In this case, we provide a web client with the user interface identical to the desktop version. Simply put, Lemon Tree is a fast, intuitive solution enabling models to have the same life cycle as other artifacts created during the software development life cycle, which can now be stored and versioned parallel to the source code. The agenda for today is as follows. First, I will show you the scenario demonstrating how to do a model comparison and then how, how Lemon Tree helps you with multi-team modeling. First, let me show you just uh, a demonstration, theoretical demonstration, what uh, we are going to do. So now let's have a look at the first scenario, demonstrating the model comparison. Being able to see what has changed in previous versions of the model is one of the most common requirements in, in a development lifecycle, right? So I'm going to switch to demo. And just please note, this is a really live demo, and uh, <laughs> I hope it's going to go well. So this is not pre-recorded stuff, so this is really what I'm doing is happening right now. Okay, so I prepared uh, three, three users for you for, for today's demonstration. And uh, I'm going to just go as, as a Bob, and I'm going to see what has changed in uh, previous version compared to the, to the work copy, what I have. So I can use from the Tortoise uh, context menu the function diff with previous version. So once once I click to it, I'm just gonna put my credentials. It automatically starts Lemon Tree on the background. It just started on the second screen, so I'm gonna move it here. And it will show me the comparison report. Give it a sec. I'm I'm connected via Wi-Fi, so it's that's why it's taking so long. Yeah. Now here we go. 
Okay, so on the, on the right-hand side, let me just introduce the, the layout of the screen. So on the right-hand side, you have over here, you have uh, mine version. So this is my version, what I compared uh, to the other one. On the left-hand side, this is their version, where, where you see uh, the differences made by your colleagues. And over here on the top, uh, on, on the bottom, on the bottom of the, of the screen, you see the diagram, uh, mine versus versus theirs, and you actually see the visualization of the changes, which is pretty cool. So you can see at the first sight that actually I have created this relationship and I deleted this, this relationship. Therefore, you see the element removed. Over here, on the left side, in impacted elements, you see a list of elements which have been somehow modified. Uh, you also see color differentiation. So if there, is a, if there is a green color, so it means that a new element has been added. If there is, a, a, I would call it a pink color, uh, it means that the element has been removed. And if there is, if there is an orange uh, color, so it means that it has been modified. So also, every element, what you see, is, is really uh, interactive, meaning that once you click on whatever item from the list, so it will automatically navigate to the structure of the model uh, and vice versa. So if I, if I click uh, on whatever element within the structure, so it will navigate me uh, here. And also, it works with the diagrams. So the diagrams are not just a visualization, it's actually a living thing. And over here, similarly, uh, in the impacted diagrams, you see diagrams which have been modified. Okay, so let me jump back to the uh, presentation. Parallel changes with a conflict. Now it's going to get more interesting. So let me let me just uh, let us assume that uh, we have this scenario. Bob has checked out at 8.30 a.m. Uh, the model, model version from the repository. So we have the model saved in a uh, version control system, and uh, Bob has checked it out. Then he started to work on that, and then in the meantime, Jane, she actually checked out uh, the same version from the repository. Then she started to work on that right away and she made some changes and she actually checked it in right away to the VCS. And Bob, while Bob is still working on his version, so this would cause a really big trouble in a, in a real scenario, meaning that uh, Bob has already not, uh, he's got not the latest version of, of, the, of the model uh, in, in his working copy. So he would have to update it, and then he would have to compare it manually. Lemon Tree actually does the merge uh, by, by itself automatically. In case if there is no conflict, it does it automatically. In case if there is a conflict detected, then Lemon Tree will actually ask you to solve the conflict. So this is, this is the theory, and now let me show you the, the real thing, how it works in reality. Gonna switch to. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to be a Jane. Right now, the starting point is that all of the users they have the same uh, EAP uh, files, meaning that they have the same version, the latest version um, checked out from the repository. And here we go. Okay, so. Here is the, the latest version of the model. So me, as a Jane, right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a situation where I'm going to cause a conflict. Uh, so what I'm going to say, I'm going to rename this class 3 as a Jane's class. And I'm going to, just to make it more interesting, I'm going to create another class just for the, for the sake of clarity uh, I'm just what I'm creating is, is uh, totally wrong right so just it's just for the sake of demonstration so I'm not modeling right now so okay I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna close that 
and I'm going to submit it or make a comment to the ASVN repository where I'm going to just some comment okay so it has been commented to the repository now I'm going to go go back and I'm going to see I haven't updated this this uh, this version from the last version from repository I'm, I'm gonna do it on purpose like that so Bob doesn't care what's the latest version uh, in the repository so he opens up uh, enterprise architect and he decides that uh, to create a class 3 that was a really big mistake so I'm gonna delete that as a Bob and uh, I'm going to actually introduce the, another another class which I'm gonna call Bob's class oh All right. Okay. And now the magic is going to happen, hopefully. <laughs> so cross your fingers. So I'm going to commit uh, all the changes to the repository. Because Lemon Tree still kept the model open, so forgot to close it. All right. Right now I see on the second screen Lemon Tree has identified the conflict. Uh, which is trying to solve and apparently the solution is not uh, gonna be automatically solved so it calls for our help so lemon tree comes up and it's gonna show me the conflict where it is and it's gonna ask me for a solution so here it is right now you actually see instead of those three mine and theirs uh, windows you see one more why do you see the third window there well the reason is that actually in this window you see the model how it's gonna look after you solve the conflict what does it mean solve conflict it means that apparently you have some uh, do, do you guys hear me correctly sure <coughs> Okay. Okay. I, I just got a feedback that I'm not I'm not being heard. So anyway, okay. So this is the uh, this is the 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 visualization of of the of the model how it's going to look after the merge is done. So right now over here down there in the diagram you actually see what what I've done. That's the that's the best part of Lemon Tree that you actually can visually compare the differences right so as I showed you this is Jane and this is Bob so what what did Bob do Bob actually deleted one class which is which is even he which is over here when I click to it this is Bob element removed and it actually shows which element has been removed uh, obviously the element is not being seen on, on Bob's diagram right and then the conflict, this is actually what's causing the conflict because I removed some element which Jane did not and instead of that she actually uh, just modified the element and that caused the conflict and now it's up to me to decide what's the, what's the final, what's the, what's the resolution of this situation. I forgot to mention the one, one more thing, uh, the impacted elements you can actually uh, use this filter so now I'm only after those elements which are actually in conflict so it's it comes in handy in case if you have uh, a lot of elements uh, modified and then you can just decide okay now I really want to deal only with those which are in conflict and the other ones the other ones uh, I don't care I will I will accept as this and also you can use of course obviously the search mechanism so uh, you can search um, 
based based on the name of the elements. So over here, you have uh, three options how to how to deal with the conflict. You can either element by element uh, decide which element is going to uh, which which element is going to be as a part of the final model, uh, or you can say, well, okay, Jane. As a woman, she's always right, so I will take all theirs, meaning that I will take all the Jane's modifications to the final model, which is going to be merged, and uh, and that's it. I'm done with I'm done with the uh, conflict resolution, and then I will start the merge. Okay, so processed 229 elements, so now I can really close the the lemon tree and it automatically actually uh, makes the, the commit to the repository. The beauty of the Vol solution is also that lemon tree automatically puts to, uh, hang on, I'll just open in the second screen. So when I, when I check the, the, the log, of, uh, of SVN, I actually see what has been changed when while doing the merge. So Lemon Tree automatically adds the information in there to the commit comment, which is which is pretty pretty good. And as you see, that's comma separated uh, format, so you can just copy and paste it to ex uh, to Excel uh, to Excel, and you can you can do whatever you want with it. What people, what people just do, people just keep it in there just for the sake of uh, having evidence about, uh, about the changes for the sake of, of some, uh, to fulfill some standards or requirements. Uh, I forgot to mention one more thing while I was doing the, the model comparison. You can also do the model comparison from, from here. So when I have the, um, the, the logs open, so I can compare this version, the, the revision 6 to the revision 3, by just simply using the capability of Tortis SVN. So holding control button and uh, selecting whatever revision I have in the repository and uh, choosing compare revisions. I can simply compare those two revisions to each other and I see the the comparison report in lemon tree as well so you can you can get the idea how flexible lemon tree uh, integration works for you so so here is here is the the change what do you see so the meeting will will end in 10 minutes so okay cool <laughs> I just got a got a message. So let's go back to the presentation, and uh, yeah, I did the demo already. And actually, right now, it's time to take some questions. Uh, <coughs> on mute, mm -hmm. Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, good. You know, I was uh, working on an evaluation of lemon tree, so I was testing the functionality you just showed. Okay. The uh, first question is regarding the need for version control software. Uh, is it like you should have the version control software, or can you have lemon tree in an environment where there's uh, there are just uh, Oracle based repositories? You know, as it is in our in uh, in our case. Uh, in case in our scenario, uh, I used the lemon tree integration with Tortoise SVM, and uh, I mentioned that lemon tree can also work uh, for comparison between DBMS, so between uh, DB repositories. And in this case, you don't need to have version control system in place. Yeah, because you know my evaluation because I was kind of evaluating the whole of our environment. So the version control brings in com a complexity in our distributed environment. Uh, so lemon tree as a separate application will 
add up to that complexity, it is my initial uh, uh, kind of evaluation, you know, when I tested that in a, in a, on a single PC environment, you know, because I'm on travel these days. Yes. Uh, so, uh, the, the, I mean, the uh, UI is great and uh, user friendly. Uh, the lemon tree factor is there. It is fresh and everything, but the integration, integration part is, I'm, um, little bit uh, disappointed about uh, as yeah. I understood uh, uh, you have to do some extension you have to write some extension for integrating it uh, to the oracle based uh, environment is it correct well actually uh, this integration with SVN is out of the box solution so you can simply just uh, after you purchase the license you can simply install it and it works for you and that's the best that's that's why we promote this the other version where you compare the DBMS uh, in a DB, DBMS environment, so you, it's not that easy to deploy that solution. So we have to come to, to the side, we have to install that, and it's not really, it's treated as a project, more or less. And I have, I have one question actually to you. Uh, so if you have DBMS, uh, if you use DB-based uh, repository, so how do you handle uh, the versioning, version so control. Is, uh, the, the pessimistic uh, locking uh, system, you know, we use and we have, uh, initially we had uh, just a couple of repositories, but in past year we extended that to, to 20, around 20 repositories. And uh, we have a, quite a complex system of copying the master repositories and the, and the projects and uh, the offices have their own uh, their own repositories so we kind of merge the merge uh, the things which are uh, which are of uh, importance you know yes yes that's left but, to the distributed uh, those repositories so in a sense it's a it's a, it's a quite distributed environment where we have a central uh, repo which we are more concerned about yeah uh, well in this case uh, I'm, I'm gonna go back a little bit and uh, i showed on um, one of the first slides, just give me a second, I'm going to go back. So in, in this case, uh, you can use the version control repository as a repository for the distributed, uh, distributed teams. So in this, this case, the, the version control repository uh, facilitates the, the repository as such, so you don't have to have any DB installed in this case. And, uh, it also suits uh, the requirements of uh, big corporations having really teams uh, distributed all over the place, all over the globe, and uh, that actually kills two birds with one stone. You have version control plus you have uh, repository in place, and you have the merging and branching uh, thanks to Lemon Tree. Uh, covered as well, so that's. But you know, there are two. Just to just to add to what you said, I mean, uh, in enterprise architect, you have cloud uh, cloud services which we begin using uh, for now one year, okay. and uh, we have time modeling, okay. time aware modeling coming in version thirteen, which I'm testing these days. So my question is, you know, lemon tree suitable for uh, normal uh, enterprise architect users or administrator my current evaluation it is it may be good for the administrators well actually lemon tree is suitable for, to all users uh, who are uh, who do, who wants to taste the real and true concurrent modeling meaning that you can actually uh, make modifications uh, to the same package at the same time there is no solution provided by Spark Systems at the moment which could actually allow you to, to do that. So Lemon Tree can really, uh, you can, you can edit, um, you can you can edit uh, element, you can edit package at the same time by by multiple users, and there is no no such a solution uh, on the market. So Lemon Tree is is a unique. In, in yeah, sure, case. sure, it will be. Yeah. But I was thinking, you know, I've been. So, uh, Kind of uh, responsible for the the solution uh, for uh, for two years, so I know my users. You know the business users. There, yeah. there's, a, there's a variety of users out there. You know. Yes. And yes. 
I was just thinking if they will be able to cope with this complexity, you know. Yes, we are, we are ready to, to provide a solution for um, DBMS environment as well. But as I said, it's not really that easy to deploy this solution and we treat it more, more or less like a project than out-of-the-box solution. I already mentioned that uh, uh, also Lemon Tree is unique in terms of providing a support to Git. That's also uh, another requirement because people or enterprise architect users, they've been calling for this feature for, for years, if I'm not mistaken. And now yeah, sure, that is yeah. correct. So one more te non-technical question, you know, okay. uh, Lemon Tree part of a company or developed by a company who is, who is owned by a Spark system, is it correct? Uh, actually, we are Alibaba Libre and we are not owned by Spark Systems. We are. Uh -huh, I, no, okay, I, I we are third. That it was, we are well, third, I, third party, company? third party, uh, third party company. Third party company. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I was thinking maybe in future this functionality be added to Spark Systems and then this investment will go, go uh, in vain, you know. <laughs> no. Not really, not really. Uh, this one actually is not uh, operating within the environment of Enterprise Architect. This is out of Enterprise Architect. So this is, uh, this is operating just with the EAP files because it knows the structure, but it really is more or less integration uh, w uh, within the Tortoise SVN or Git SVN or whatever, as, uh, whatever whatever version control system you use. We are kind of running out of time. We have only one minute and 25 seconds uh, till the end. So Ernest, uh, would you like to take one more question or uh, are you going to wrap it up? We're going to need to wrap it up. Yeah. And uh, Kamran, is that, uh, I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Kamran? Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, if, if you'd like, I'll, I'll send you Bob's uh, contact information, and you can continue the conversation with him directly. Would that be uh, all right? Yeah, it is absolutely yeah, that'll okay. Yeah. That'll be great. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. So, uh, come on. Uh, we're gonna have another session scheduled for December that we're gonna demonstrate. It's gonna be the same similar session, but for a different time zone. We're gonna be focusing on the U.S. time zone, and. Uh, uh, as, as promised, whoever attended here will receive 15% discount at one file. Uh, when the product is purchased, when you get it before February 28th, this is uh, courtesy of Libre Libre. So thank you guys. And so all you have to do is contact Libre Libre before you place your order. And I'm going to send you uh, the information, box information, so you can have. Uh, I can tell you have more questions here, and I'm sure they would love to hear from you. So, okay, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks a lot. You're very welcome. You are welcome. And Bob, thank you very much for, for putting the...